Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm gonna go to a produce auction up in Pembroke, Kentucky. Uh, this is about 30 minutes away from where I live here in Middle Tennessee in Clarksville. And so this is an Amish auction. Um, it's listed in their little directory. And since it's canning season, um, even though I do have my own garden, I wanna just kind of get some more practice in and, and be able to really stock up on whatever's in season right now. So I'm, I'm guessing that there's gonna be like a lot of tomatoes, peppers. I hope that I'll find fruit, um, but that's what I really want. So we'll see. Um, and I know that a lot of these places you can't film inside um, is disrespectful to them, but I'm not sure. I've never been there, so I don't know, but I will take some photos and hopefully I can share some of that experience with you guys. That's what's really cool about living here in Tennessee is that you have so many different things that you can do, not just for fun, but just for everyday life. You know, if you enjoy canning or cooking or whatever, I mean, there's so many resources for you here and so many at the local level. That's what I really like. I like the fact that a lot of these businesses are locally owned, family owned. You know, they're not all the big box stores. That's not your only option for buying stuff around here. So I really like that. All right, let's go see what this is all about. Okay, everyone. So here's my best friend, Penny. We're here checking out the, uh, the auction. So we're here. I don't know how this auction thing works, but it looks like if you look back there, there's a whole bunch of boxes and stuff. So we're gonna go check it out. This is really exciting because we see a lot of this same stuff at the little produce stands that we shop at. And so, like I said, it's canning season. We need to get we need to jump on the bandwagon and get all the produce, okay? So let's go check it out, see what it's like. All right. Okay, what is this? This is canary melon. This is the stuff I grew and gave to you. Oh, okay. I think they both died. That's okay. Okay. Are we in trouble? What does that mean? No. <laughs> Lots of tomatoes. These are all the ones we can. Here's the banana, banana peppers, peppers, right? Okra. Okra. Fried green tomatoes. Oh my god. We can make some fried green tomatoes. Ow. A lot of onions. Oh my gosh, look at all these little butternut squashes. They're so cute. They're so small. I bet you they taste amazing. Probably, yeah. Look at all the eggplants. But I want these beans. Wow. I, I wonder what beans. they taste like. Okay, this is the office right here. So I'm not gonna film inside, but this is what the office looks like. So I think you go in here and tell them, tell them what you want. Okay, so the way this works, we went in the office and basically they give you a number. So you're gonna go into one of these things and they're gonna start telling you what's for sale. So I have my little auction card my friend Penny is going to be the one to uh, listen because I don't have the best hearing. But um, we're going to go into one of these buildings and then we bid. We bid on things and um, I guess we'll see if, we, if we win. Look where you park your, your, your cars. Now, if you really want to go green, you can get yourself a horse and buggy. And I'm not kidding. I, I am definitely considering that <laughs> who needs electric vehicles when you can have a horse and a buggy i would love that honestly see this is their parking lot right here not super full today but oh my gosh i just saw something i haven't seen this in literally years look at this 
dude. RC, RC Cola? Me and my RC. What? I'm totally buying one of these, but on the way out. What? Dude, this is bringing me back. Like, yes. Where are your rollerblades? <laughs> Is that like a break? I need to hook my dogs up to one of these things. Aww. Hi. Hi, pretty. I would love for you to be my car one day. They're doing the butternut squash. Okay. We got green beans. Let's see what we have here. Oh, wow. We got okra, heirloom tomatoes. Holy moly. Those are huge. Beautiful. The heirlooms are gorgeous. Wow. All these onions. Wow. Oh, my gosh. This is like. This is high tunnel stuff, though, you know? Yeah. These look beautiful. Lots of cucumbers. <clears throat> I'm not really a big fan of cucumbers, though. Yeah. Okay, so the one we went to just now back there, they had a lot of flowers, they had a lot of tomatoes and stuff like that, but we missed the boat. So I think next year, uh, not next year, next time we get here, we need to get here, I think at like probably 9.30. As we spent a lot of time just looking around and stuff. All right, here, we're gonna try the next one, okay? All right, so we went to one of the other buildings. Um, so each building has like different stuff. So one is like flowers and some other produce. The one that we were just in sells like watermelons and melons. I'm not looking for that today, but this, this area right here, this is what we want. They have tomatoes, jalapenos, peaches. I want the peaches. I do a lot of peach canning. So we're gonna be in here. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to understand what they're saying. The auctioneers talk really fast and um, I don't have the best hearing, like I said. So um, Penny, Hopefully she'll be uh, on board, but we are determined. We are not leaving here without peaches, San Marzano tomatoes, and Roma tomatoes. That's what we use the most of, but we want onions. Uh, I don't know, maybe some peppers, but we'll see. So we're learning how this works. Next. All right, so we're waiting for the next auction thing. And we're hungry because we got here early, so. We're taking advantage of the concession stand here, which has a lot of really yummy snacks. So I decided to get a pulled pork sandwich. Penny got a hot dog. And let's see. Oh, my hair. Okay, ready? Let's see what it tastes like. It looks really, really good. It also looks kind of messy, but let's see. Mmm. That is good. Very juicy. The bun is nice. Has cheese on it. Not bad. Four bucks. That's pretty good. I approve. Oh, and I got popcorn. I love popcorn. So a bag of microwave popcorn for a dollar. That's good. But next I'm getting the fries. The fries, they look amazing. And I got the RC. Let's see. Tastes like soda. Tastes like cola. 
I don't remember what it tastes like, but I remember I remember drinking it back in the 80s. So I, have, I don't even know if they sell it in stores, but they sell it here, so yay. <laughs> All right, you guys, holy moly, guacamole. We actually scored, and we scored, we scored big time. Look at this. We scored. I thought we weren't gonna win, but we won. We Mama won. Mia, check out my garlic. Woo! I'm gonna make some sauce. I'm gonna make some Brooklyn Benson her sauce. You hear that, Tony? It's coming. <laughs> we got we got peaches. We got um, tons of tomatoes, potatoes, onions, bell peppers, corn. We met a couple of really nice people here who just sold us a couple things that they got. Tomatillos. Tomatillos. Wow. Get ready. It's canning season, baby. Woo! All right, so that concludes our day at the Fairview Produce Auction. So this is like, I think it happens four days a week. And I'll just say, we've been here for a while. What time is it? I don't know what time it is, but we got here around 10 o'clock. And what time is it? Uh, it's two o'clock. So it's two o'clock. Yeah, so we've been here about four hours. Wow. Four hours, Penny. Oh, Lord have mercy. Woo! I gotta go can my sauce that's sitting in my kitchen. All right, everybody. Well, this is it. This is the auction. This is where you get all the delicious produce that people pay lots of money for, and it's all local and delicious and minimal amount of chemicals and pesticides and all that crap that we don't need so god bless everyone we'll see you next time